all know them from BBC Radio 4. It's really great that they have come here today. I don't want to see anything that's still alive. I've done some courses at the uh, Northwest Regional College, which have been brilliant. So if I do well today, it's down to them. Brett is the threat. Um, and Steve's the preparation man. You want to see what I can do with a can of beans? Apricots. There's uh, broccoli. There's some kind of meat. Oh, sirloin steak, I guess. Uh, mushrooms, garlic, onion, black peppercorns, and brandy. Fish. Bacon. Ori, we've got peppers, we've got a lemon, a lovely piece of leek, uh, onion. Uh, all we need with that is help. All right, then, Stephen. To take the wraps, are they? The wraps. Uh, we've got, yeah, loads of. This is great. I know what I'm going to do. Because you're on the radio every uh, Wednesday with Mark, is this good to get just kind of your own back on him? It is good, and I'm watching him. He's not even aware that we're chatting about him right now. He's shouting about caramelising onions. He's shouting about pan frying. He says, "Have you any butter? Have you any salt?" He's getting nothing that he's asking for. It's payback big time. If it were me cooking that steak there, I would leave that little piece of fat on, but I would do something with that little bit of sinew that's going through the centre of the steak. I'm not saying what. This this looks good, doesn't it? It looks like something you see in the TV. But do you think you have this maybe too well cooked before? Do you know you still have plenty of time and stuff? Well, what time are people arriving? It might be overcooked. What time are people arriving? We're here, Michael. <laughs> Stephen, this looks pretty. This is, uh, yeah, man, you got uh, the t tomato paste in there, is it? I don't know what that is, but I put it in there. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Give him a nice round of applause. Okay, he's got to stop. and putting the flowers on. Yeah, cute boy, cute. Well, we just uh, sort of made a, a kind of version of fajitas. It's kind of, you know, I don't know, it's sort of half a stir fry, half fajitas. You executed it brilliantly. If you have kids and you want to give them vegetables and hide the vegetables and stuff like that, it's a great type of dish for doing that sort of stuff. And you don't maybe, you won't have to have it as hot or as spicy, but it's one of those great dishes to that. So I say, well done, Chief. Well done. You have a nice run of pot. Often, you know, you know, think steak is the easiest thing in the world. It does take a certain level of skill to cook steak. You put some pepper on the steak, but you didn't add any salt at the beginning, because what can happen is when you add salt to raw meat, especially a thing like a steak, you draw the blood out of it. And what we want to do is seal it and keep all the flavors in it. You've done all that. I think the sauce is great. A lovely consistency. What did you think of our steak? What I'm particularly very pleased about is you didn't put too much sauce on it. Just another, there's nothing worse than getting a, a, a duck dish or whatever, smothered with too much sauce. I like the idea that you cut the duck down, you know what I mean, which is a nice presentation sort of a thing. What about the undertone legend, Michael Bradley? If he thinks this is rotten, I'm not gonna have a good Sunday. Okay, you need to tell, tell the truth and speak the magic. How long I have a bucket here? Here. It's all right, Patterson. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Oh boy. You're not a professional chef, and what you have done there, you wouldn't get in some restaurants. It's absolutely very good. Fair play. Give him a lot. Wow. What do you think of that? I'll take that. I'll take that. What about the Patterson? Did he cook up a storm? <laughs> well, I think it's between two, myself, right? Uh, I think it was between, I think it might have been on the left hand side, between Mr. Beans and, and the sirloin steak. So we're just going to do it one more time. What about Stephen? Mr. Beans? <laughs> and Sarah Brett? <laughs> I think the, the River Dance Star of Hearts to be had the winner of MasterChef 2012 Everton. Give it up for Sarah Brett, congratulations. I mean, I know I've had a bit of practice, but I can't believe it. I saw Mark's thing coming up. I thought, God, that looks like MasterChef. You know, and, then, and ours was kind of a bit more simple, but it was the classic flavours that we concentrated on and we rocked it in the end. 